Hello! I hope everyone's well, and uh, the world is treating you well. I uh, can't be on too long tonight because I got a, an interview in the morning, so, you know, um, wish me luck. Um, but, uh, anyways, uh, I thought I'd, uh, thought I'd, uh, talk about something. I had to, actually, all that stuff behind me, my bookshelf and all the books and stuff, I had to move them out because you can sort of see, actually, on my, this side, uh, you can sort of see the, uh, that there is a, yeah, that, that thing over there. That is uh, where the plumbing goes in my room. And they had to tear out a good portion of that and put it back up today. Uh, because they had to take out the uh, the plumbing and replace it. So that was fun. That said, um, so I've got that going on. And uh, so I had to take everything out of my room, uh, on that side of the room anyway, to make room for the workmen, and then bring it all back in. Long story short, too late. I, uh, I, I did find myself going through a lot of books uh, as a result. And uh, one of the things I was thinking about with the books is I have a number of books that I bought um, because I thought they looked cool. And I never did anything with them. Some of them I've never even read. Um, so that was something that sort of, you know, sparked a notion in my head. And I, and I look like I'm going to be having a little more free time of, of coming soon. So I might do some more uh, looks at some of these games that I've had for a while and I haven't done much with. Um, and the first one will probably be... Legend of the Burning Sands. Now this was by AEG and was intended to be sort of tied to Legend of the Five Rings. This is the Arabian uh, sort of supplement uh, for uh, that game. The, uh, the book is Lovely. I think I picked this up at Gen Con the one year I went. Um, it's got beautiful artwork. Uh, the layout is very uh, suggestive of a sort of a desert color scheme. Um, and uh, I remember playing Legend of the Five Rings, uh, the role-playing game. Never played the card game, though. I've, I've I had plenty of friends who did. Um, and uh, so... I, I am interested, and I will probably over the next few days try and read this and get an impression of it. But I thought uh, people would be interested in this one. Uh, I've got a few others over there that I bought because I thought it looked cool, or I had a vague interest in, but never did anything because I couldn't find anybody else that was interested in it. Um, this one, actually, I probably could have found somebody interested in playing, um, though, to be fair... With, uh, when it comes to doing sort of an Arabian night style game, D&D &D will work just fine. But, uh, eh, it might be worth it. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely, uh, take a look at it over the next few days. A few others that I have over there, I've got a Babylon 5 game. Uh, uh, and I've got a, uh, uh, a, uh, a Stargate game, which was interesting. I've got some, uh, and then I've got some that I, I picked up because I had every intent of, of, of playing and either couldn't find somebody to play with, or I picked it up at the wrong time. So, you know, uh, for instance, I've got, uh, Burning Wheel over there. I've got, uh, Colonial Gothic. I've got, uh, uh, Brave New World. And a few others that you may or may not have heard of. Um, I, I've got the uh, some of these uh, the D and D setting that uh, White Wolf published for a while there. I've got some of the books for that, 
And, you know, these are all books that would be, you know, fun to take a look at. It, I have, I've either haven't looked at them in a while or I never read them. Like the, the, uh, I never actually read The Legends of the Burning Sands. I picked it up thinking that would be great and never got around to playing it. Never even got around to bringing it up to the guys. Uh, so, you know, uh, it'll be neat to sort of rediscover it because I had it, I have it handy. Um, but that's a, that's a plan. That's a thing. It's going to go forward. Um, I'm still uh, planning on doing rounding out the rest of the uh, the gazetteers as well, so don't worry about that. But I thought I'd you know toss in a little extra there now that I've got some free time coming up. Um, anyway, uh, it, do you guys have any wacky uh, games that you bought that you never tried, or ones that you could never convince anybody else to play, or or anything like that? Uh, I know that the, over the years, there have been plenty that I, you know, I got excited about and everybody else wasn't. And there have been a few that everybody else was excited and I wasn't. Uh, the, um, the the recent Fantasy Flight version of uh, Warhammer Fantasy, I didn't care for the first time we uh, we tried it. Um, it's the, the dice. Uh, uh, the the custom dice mechanics didn't work for me but some people like it and you know i i get that uh it, but it it didn't do anything for me so hmm. that's me uh, subscribe like share with all the people and i'll talk to you guys uh later see ya no really go away yes yes you turn it off